Welcome back. Let's play Twilight Princess. I decided to come meet you guys over here at the Rock Formations in Northern Hyrule Field off screen because this is exactly where uh, we need to go. Basically on this side though. There are some Tektites here, I think Lizalfos, nothing really too much you have to be worried about. Basically where we found the Golden Bug last time, the exact same spot. Of course you guys want to play. I'd be surprised if you didn't want to play. I'm kind of surprised that that Lizalfos ran into my... Damn it, Link. He ran into my sword. Which was pretty funny, but not exactly what I want, want him to do. I, I kind of wanted to use my home splitter, but eh, ending blow works just fine. So in order to, uh, to get past this wall of ice, we need the ball and chain, also known as a ball and chain. Sorry, it's not called a flail, obviously. So, yeah, you can't come here until after Snow Peak, or unless you're in the middle of it. We have to solve block pushing puzzles, like the block pushing puzzles in Oracle Seasons and Ages. Except these blocks are made of ice this time. I don't know. Yeah, I should have known that'd be a problem. Let's go ahead and push this one back. Yeah, it just takes a, a, a short amount of thinking to get past these puzzles and whatnot. You just gotta push them and think about it a little bit and keep working your way around them in order to get to the next area. And once you do, leave the blocks on the switches. That way you can come and go through here as you please. Alright, area number two. So we have three blocks and two switches. Exactly, it's going to be harder to figure out. So let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see here. I want to go this way. Yeah, see, this ain't exactly gonna work because I need uh, this one to be over here in order to even get to the other switch. Oh, uh, I want to get the. Hey, I want to get that switch first. Shoot. Um. Okay, hold on. Let me think for a second. Okay, done thinking. I want to get to this switch first. And to do that, I want to move this one here. There we go. And now let's get this one out of here. I believe that's how I want to do this. Uh, this is why I hate this. It's just, uh, God, what's the word for it? Annoying. It's annoying. Not gonna lie. Alright, alright, this will work. This will work. You don't want to do the other one because if you try pushing the blocks around, you're just gonna get stuck. So, you want to get this one on this switch first. Which opens one of the gates, but not both of them, to say the least. Alright, so what I want to do next is... Ugh, darn ice. I hate these puzzles. I always hate doing this one. Every time I play Twilight Princess, this is one puzzle I dread on doing. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that ain't gonna make much of a difference now, is it? Let's see here. Uh, you can get me going that way. Okay, yeah, I can just circle it around that way. That'll work. <laughs> oh, puzzles, why you dread me so? Let's see, and let's... Alright, uh, shoot. Yeah, okay, let's have you go that way. Let's have you go over here, and let's rotate that block to the right, and then down, and then I think I'll be fine. <laughs> There you go. We got this in the bag. Not too hard, but makes you think, which is what Zelda games are designed to do. Make you think. And now we can go ahead and move this one and just work our way around. I'm sure there might be an easier way to do this. In the guidebook, they gave, they gave detailed instructions on how to solve these puzzles. But uh, I guess I like figure it out because I'm a sucker for puzzles. There we go. This is the harder one, I should say. So let's go ahead and push this up. Yeah, now we we have, we've got three blocks that we want to get to the middle switch. Man, whoever designed this area, and they really don't want us getting this chest unless I guess we're the hero of time. 
or we just happen to have a lot of patience. One or the other. The only problem with this one is that it's going to be hard to uh, uh, get the blocks to be stuck in the way we want it to be. Like trying to get the blocks uh, to move. We're going to start using two blocks and have them stop each other where we need them to stop each other at. So it's just a lot of block pushing, I should say. Now, see how... <clears throat> how do I put it? Let's see, okay. Ah, what am I talking about now? Going brain dead here. Yeah, I want to push this one up. Push one of the right uh, with it. That way I can make my way across and hopefully get to where I need it to get to. This may or may not work. Alright, now that we have the place marker for it, push that one that way. Push this one back towards this way. And now let's just push them back towards each other, that way I can get it on the second one, I suppose. And then we're just going to basically do the same thing until we get to the switch. Actually, I think I'm doing a lot better on this than I was in my first Twilight Princess Let's Play. So it's not really much to talk about while doing this. Okay, I lied, there's tons of things in the world to talk about. But, you know what I mean, right viewers? Okay, I remember this puzzle being a lot harder, but... Hey, if I could make it this easy, I'm gonna do it! Wow, this is a lot easier than... Wow, okay, cool. Yeah, my throat's getting parched again. Need to uh, drink some more of my Pepsi Cherry, Wild Cherry. Sweet! Here we get heart piece number 31. Sorry, I really need to take a drink. Usually I don't take drinks during episodes, but... Well, I've been talking a lot today, and we'll be talking a lot more, so... I'm just gonna make a special exception, if you know what I mean. I've also been recording Fire Emblem. I just started recording that today. For the Game Boy Advance. Doing a Let's Play series on it, but I'm not going to be uploading it until... Uh, Twilight Princess and Wind Waker are almost over. So you can look forward to that in the future, viewers. Alright, now that it's also daytime, we want to head back over to Kakariko Village. And then we're also going to start, uh, uh take, uh, oh, how do I put this? We're also going to start, uh, talking to Agatha and getting our money for our bugs. You can also go back to the Light Lantern Cavern or Lake Hylia if you happen to be full on rupees like I was last time I visited. So just, uh, it basically depends, I suppose, but... Now it's time to go donate! Let's get my main items back on my equipment screen. I use the claw shot and the bow and arrow the most in Twilight Princess anyways. Especially when we get an item, not the next dungeon, but the one after. That will allow us to have more fun with the claw shot. You have to see what it is, viewers. Yeah, they're crushing folks that want tons of money. Yeah, those bastards. Those high-paying bastards. So, first phase is to repair the broken bridge on the East Castle Town. There will traffic. And then buy that Castle Town shop and sell products that reduce prices. And how much money is that going to cost? Yeah, of course finances are lacking. Everyone's asking for donations lately. And honestly, the only place I've actually donated to was like an animal uh, thing. Or they help animals and stuff, which is pretty cool, because I love animals. So, we need a thousand rupees to repair the bridge. Sure, I'll give you... Uh, let's go 550 rupees towards this donation. So he only needs 450 left. Now, you can't save your game and save your money that way. It, it, it doesn't work that way. I, I think there was... I think like a Link to the Past or Link's Awakening, you can do something like that where you spend a lot of money, save your game, and you can save all your money. Yeah. That's right, I can't warp when people are watching me. So let's go and get out of here, or at least over here, and then let's warp. Because now I want to go back to uh, Hyrule Castle Town. Uh, make sure you save 10 rupees if you want to go see the shop that uh, they're talking about. Basically, but and we go visit Agatha to first because there there's just a lot of freaks. 
Uh, well, not a lot of freaks in this episode. And by freaks, I mean different. But, uh, yeah, let's get Agatha over with. Like, I guess it's time I gave her more bugs. And, uh, saw how she decided what, what she wants to say when I give her a bug, basically. And she says some creepy things. Uh, they're up there on the creepy level of the Venge Drown story. You know, the haunted Majora's Mask copy of like, it's, it's, it's a fictional story about a kid drowning and his soul and it being inside of a game cartridge. Which a lot of people believed for the longest time. I don't want to read the sign, I want to go inside. Wow, that guy in the bottom of this corner has really big ears, so just notice that. I still want that Ganondorf figurine game, but it's too expensive for me. I, I might as well buy a laptop, but yeah. Of course I have! I brought quite a few bugs. Let's give her the mantis. The male mantis first, to be exact. Here you go. Uh, I guess some mantis could be cute. No, or I could just buy a better knife. Okay, that one wasn't so bad. And for doing that, we can get 50 rupees! Of course! 20 more, 21 more bugs! Yeah, I got another one for ya. And there's a lot of collecting in video games. I know it's like the Kingdom Hearts game, you have to collect like 101 Dalmatians. Ugh, I, I found like 70, but I gave up trying to find the rest. Maybe there's a really good reward for it, but I never cared at the moment. And did we get 100 rupees? 20 bugs left? Yeah, yeah, I know. I kinda just want your money, though. <laughs> All right, here. Have a butterfly. I mean, you're obviously dreaming about it when you sent me that letter. I guess butter. Okay, butterflies can be cute. I, I I thought Butterfree was cute in Pokemon. I like my Butterfree. All right, we have 50 rupees. They shouldn't say anything creepy about butterflies. I'll give her that. Agatha generally can be creepy. I recently found an Agatha art from like Wind Waker. Where she has like Wind Waker art style. Because Agatha obviously isn't in Wind Waker. Yeah, you wanna you wanna be in a butterfly's powder. Man, this girl would be amazing on Fear Factor when it came to all the bug stuff. Except eating them. I don't think she'd eat them, but she'd leg with them. And probably do other things with them, but not eat them. Alright, here's a phasmid. Might be the last bug I give her. Well, not the last one, but the last pair of bugs I give her. You want to make bows out of their antennas. What's wrong with you? Uh, why would you want to do that? Why, why don't you just get a bug, I mean a bow from Michael and put a piece of tape and tape it to their foreheads? Why would you do that to their antennas? Remind me to keep this girl away from my dog. Here, take the other one. You creepy girl you. Creepy! Uh, that's not so bad, but God, why would you say that? Why would you want to do that? You're weirder than Stretch from Skyward Sword. I'm out of here. I got better things to do. Creepy bug girl. Crying out loud. Uh, okay, there's one more thing I want to do before I end today's episode. God, what is wrong with her? I wonder why her family left her. She has tons of money and a crazy hobby. I mean, her hobby, I mean, collecting bugs isn't a bad hobby, but what do you want to do things with those bugs? I, I think I draw the line there. And I don't mean scientifically, like studying spiders or something. Hey, how's it going? You're, uh, you're closed. What do you mean you're closed? Ugh. Okay, well, I guess I won't be showing it in this Let's Play, but basically, uh, you get someone at the door, like around here, uh, they wipe your shoes, you go inside, and the prices are ridiculous, and everyone in that store is an asshole. But, it looks like I won't be able to show it this episode. I guess I should have shown it earlier in the Let's Play, before the donation thing started up, when you could donate money to Malamar. So, my bad, viewers, I... I s screw that up, supposedly. So it's outside the eastern gate, because you can't get any hot spring water? I can bring you some hot spring water. Maybe I'll do that next time on Let's Play Twilight Princess. Have a good day!